Today, I'm listening to David Phelps sing Oh Holy Night. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bobby with the Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. Want voice lessons for Christmas? Click on the link below and I'll see you at your next private voice lesson. Now let's get started. Well, quite a few of you have suggested that if I started to listen to Christmas music, I really should put David Phelps at the top of my list. I do know this wonderful singer. I'm aware of his body of work, but I don't remember hearing this version and I definitely have not seen this video. Let's not delay the Christmas spirit any longer. Let's dig in. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Well, this is already bringing tears to my eyes. It is so wonderful to hear David Phelps any day of the week. You can hear David's heart when he sings. David's use of dynamics in this section is a real testimony to his ability to manage the fuel under his voice, the breath under his voice. He has such a delicate way of singing in the softer dynamic area in his voice, but yet it sparkles. It's what happens when with good singing, you want that dynamic contrast to really go somewhere, to ebb and flow and to have some life. And David Phelps is just a perfect example of somebody who sings with that life in his voice. A thrill of hope, Okay, good, I'm gonna stop right there. I mean, do you see how it ebbs and it flows? He is such a master at that and doesn't break a sweat. He has to be working hard. Being able to sing those long phrases, that's not for chumps, people. You gotta actually have some chops to do that. And yet, he makes it look effortless. He makes it look effortless so that you can be in the moment and just be carried off to heaven, really, uh, with, what he's, with what he's creating here. Okay, let's get back in. Oh, no. Shall he break for the 
Okay, stopping right there. I don't really think I probably have to stop on this one. I think this song might be public domain, but this arrangement may not be, so I do need to be careful. The piano player. Can we just talk about him for a moment? He is the legendary Anthony Berger, who sadly passed away during a Gaither homecoming concert. It was a, a cruise at the age of 44. Way too young. And it's just an incredible pianist. He died back in 2006. I'm actually seeing a lot of faces in the background of people who are no longer here with us. And it just really is a, a good reminder right now, especially in 2020, that life is precious. You just are not promised tomorrow. You never know. And so I think it's beautiful that we have this moment captured forever to be able to see Anthony making this gorgeous, exquisite piece of art. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name Incredible. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that puts me in the Christmas spirit, I tell you what. Okay, I'm going to try to pull myself together. Let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. Well, that was spectacular. I am so moved. I'm having a little trouble getting hold of my emotions. It's the combination of so many things. An excellent vocalist. Excellent pianist. Fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voices. And a wonderful arrangement. And because these incredible artists make it look so effortless, the audience is transported. Is this is part of a Gaither homecoming concert. Bill and Gloria Gaither are pioneers of contemporary Christian music. For many years, they would gather their friends in the Southern Gospel community to have these concerts, these homecoming concerts. And these Southern Gospel singers and groups and bands would sit on the stage together and you'd see the reaction 
of these Southern Gospel heavyweights behind the person who was performing. It was just this beautiful interplay of them being moved by what was happening in front of them. It's so interesting to me with these homecoming concerts and videos, the people on the stage are so precious. I think that's why I'm getting so choked up. It's quite often the case that your peers, the ones who are doing the same thing as you, they know how hard it is. They know the gold that you are mining <laughs> and that you are giving. Oh, I am like, ha! Ah, this one's getting to me, people. So we talked a little bit about his ability to handle dynamics with just such precision and such ease all at the same time. And he does it really brilliantly right here. There's this conversational attitude that he's taking with the lyric to a song we've all heard many times, but yet he's grinding it down to the message that the song has held all along. My favorite part of the song comes right here at this capitulation where the band kicks in, the choir is singing, and it is such a glorious moment. Let all within us praise His holy name. want to say at this really high note, the money note, I like to call it, <laughs> he looks so incredibly relaxed. He just makes it look so darn easy. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves David Phelps. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. This performance moved me so much, I think, because it reminded me, it brought it back to me what the Christmas season is really all about. It's so easy to miss it. It's so easy to lose it, especially Christmas 2020. You know, it's really about the birth of Christ. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye guys.